Hello everyone, Karsten here. I've got an unboxing today of a new computer. It is the Inspiron 15, model number 5559. We're going to be taking a look at it. It was on sale at Sam's Club for uh, $150 off its original price. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, but first thing we're going to look at is the, um, the information that's on the box. So we've got here the 15.6 inch HD touch display with webcam. By the way, that's just the model number and the color or coating silver. Uh, performance, this is the most important part of it uh, because I believe it's one of the most value computers you can get with an i7 right now. It has an i7 processor, 8 gigabyte RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, and AMD uh, Radeon, I believe, R5, 4 gigabyte graphics. The software is Windows 10, has the DVD drive, wireless, Bluetooth, battery, a media card reader, HDMI and USB 3.0, backlit keyboard, which I haven't seen before. I have to see how those work, and then the Waves and Max audio. So let's, without further ado, open this thing up. Okay, a little bit of a challenge there, but we got it. All right. It says, we're here to help. Need a little help with setup or anything else? Visit Dell.com for support. I wonder if this is backward. Yeah, this is going to need to be flipped, I would think. Okay. Let's pull that out. That goes to recycling. And here's what we're looking for, the computer itself. So we can see the computer is wrapped in swaddling clothes. Um, we're not in the manger currently, but uh, let's take a look at it. Remove its covering. And there we go. So it looks exactly like how it did during the preview. Um, this coating here, let's see if you can take a look at it. It looks very smooth on all the pictures, but it's actually, I can't define the texture, just listen to the sound, maybe that will help. Uh, <laughs> this is now turned into an ASMR video. There's nothing in the back, so we're just going to move on to the left here. So we've got all these ports here, we've got, I think this is the Ethernet, the HDMI, the one USB 3.0, which my other Inspiron had two, but we can deal with one, perhaps just for your mouse. And we have a memory card reader, which some Inspirons don't have that. And is that the battery? I think that's the battery input. That looks very small, so we'll have to find out. And we've got the USB 2.0s, the headphone jack, optical drive, and I think that might be, I'm not sure what that is. We'll find out. Let's open it up. There we go. Okay. So, let's do the unveiling here of the keyboard. Ooh, yes, it feels so nice to do that. Now let's take a look at what standard things comes with this computer. Everything that you've already seen, um, precision touchpad. The touchpad, you can see there's marking in between the two, but it's a very large touchpad. Um, and of course the beautiful stickers of i7 and the graphics card, the dedicated graphics card. And the keyboard actually has a numerical pad on it, so that's nice, it's got enough room to do that. The power on is right here, and of course if we pan up you'll also get a view of this camera, how we're filming this, but you'll also see the webcam. The HD webcam doesn't list what brand of webcam it is, it's just HD. So that's fun. So we've looked at all that. Let's get the rest of the contents out of the box. We've got the standard warranty information. Very fun. And we've got the quick start guide, which comes with the placement of everything here on what we're looking at. So let me see. The power adapter port is over here. So that was that little, little button there. Okay. And the other one was the security cable slot over here. So we know that. Okay, so we got something else here. Very, it's a, it's a necessity. It's the power adapter and power cord. Okay, we've got the power adapter. 
and we've got the cord. But one thing that's really interesting is this is the connector cord. It's very thin. Actually, if I can pull, this is the previous one from my other Inspiron. You can see the difference is quite clear. Of course, the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to power everything on, I'm going to show you guys how it looks, and then in a couple months or so, if you guys want to see a review of how this computer has been working for me, let me know and I might do that. So let's look at the startup and the registration of the computer now. So kind of cool here, guys. We're charging the computer right now, and actually this uh, computer has a nice light here, indicator light, to show you that the computer is charging. So I just thought I'd share that real quick. Okay, everyone, so it's charged a little bit. Now we're going to do the first power on. It's running, whoa. Okay, so that's what it meant by backlit. That's gonna be a requirement for all future computer upgrades now. <laughs> Another thing I thought I'd show you real quick is how big this computer is, which, if you look here. Another thing to look at too that you guys might be wanting to know about is how uh, large this computer is here. It's about half an inch and in meters. It's about a meter and a half there, or maybe just a little bit over a meter. So you can see it gets a little bit bigger here to where it's crossing almost a two, but it's pretty slim for everything it's got packed into it. Okay, so we're starting out here. It's going to know some basic information. What time zone are you in? Uh, not central. Overall, the keypad is most like other keypads. It's a little bit hard to control, but I don't uses the keypad, I use a mouse, so that's not really that big of a deal. But what is a big of a deal is this. I'm falling in love with this already. Here's the legal stuff, I couldn't sum it up better than that, Microsoft, I accept. Ah yes, now we have to put in the router password. We're just gonna use express settings, like it said, that's always worked pretty good. Don't turn off your PC, yeah, we just got it, thank you. But do you ever wonder what would happen if you turn it off? Like, does it make the computer better? Is there something Dell isn't telling us? Is this a conspiracy? Hmm. Of course, as expected, Microsoft is now asking for my sign-in information, which would be the same as your last computer if your last computer was in Microsoft. If not, um, and if you don't have an account, you can create one there, but we're going to sign in and skip ahead. Okay, it's now asking for this whole thing called Microsoft Hello, but it is giving me a good chance to test out the webcam, so let's do that real quick. It, it's centered in the frame. Oh, okay. Are they chipping me? What's going on? They're now introducing me to Cortana, which is now on the uh, laptops as well as on Windows phones. Lots of great features to get excited about. <laughs> Can we see some of them instead of just idling here waiting for them? This is riveting. Absolutely riveting. We're getting everything ready for you. Okay, <laughs> well then I'll give you some more time then. It said let's start and then it popped up. Here we are. Welcome Karsten Frisky. Um, yeah, I'm not going to put all this in yet. Let's show the viewers what we got. So, basically plain background. I'm going to test the touch screen here. Very receptive. By the way, the keyboard, these keys feel very, uh, kind of like they have a rubbery texture to them. I don't feel like my fingers are going to slip on this as much, so I thought I'd mention that. Um, Windows 10, obviously we got all this. The App Store, um, all the different things like that. But I want to see how good the HD webcam is. Is it 720? Is it 180? Or 1080? Whoa, that's loud. Okay. Yes, I will set up OneDrive. Don't you worry, OneDrive. <laughs> I'll get to you, sweetie. It's lagging. It wasn't lagging before, but it is lagging now. I just raised my right hand up. Ah. Huh. Well, this is going to be an interesting experience with the camera. This has been my review of the Dell Inspiron 15. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Like I said before, if you want a review of this in a couple months, let me know. I now begin my long task of moving software over to this computer and editing this video, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. This is Karsten Frisky, signing off.